really mediocre. So let's do a quick RAM preview. And uh, this time, let's enable our sound, so that way we can get an idea of like what the audio is sounding like in conjunction with these images. So hit zero. We've enabled our sound over here. We're going to hit zero. Yeah, nice and big. But, you know what? Back in this movie over here, the video was timed to the music, so this logo pops up right on the big musical strike. Yeah, boom. So what we want to do is we want to adjust our animation. The Team Ninja Gator text floats in right on that big musical strike. And if you twirl down all the options on this, uh, this wave format that we have, if you twirl down the waveform, you can visually see where that big musical strike is. And if we do the hotkey by pushing U and looking at all the animated stuff that we have on the Team Ninja Gator text. It looks like we missed the big musical strike right at the end. So let's take these keyframes by highlighting them, uh, just left mouse cl clicking, highlighting them, and we'll adjust the keys just by shifting them over a bit. Um, it looks like the big music will be probably around here, I guess. And uh, let's do a quick RAM preview to see if we, have just, if we adjusted it correctly. Yeah, that's nice. It has that nice little lead-in to the big music. And, yeah, that's a really quick... Um, let me check my time right quick. I've got tons of it. Buckets. Shrink you down, Camtasia. So, yeah, and let's... And now you know that, let's turn off the music for now because every time we do a RAM preview, it's a little annoying to hear that. We'll twirl this back up. And let's look back at our example movie. And so right after the Ninja Gator... Team Ninja Gator text pops up. We got the presents that's there, and that's just an opacity that's been hiding. So we're going to rapidly do that using our hotkeys and everything. So here's the end. Let's get use K. We'll get to our last keyframe that we've set, and now we're going to get our horizontal type tool. Now the reason it says horizontal is uh, much like in Photoshop. If you click and hold, you got a vertical type tool as well that lets you type on the vertical. We've been working with horizontal, and that's mostly what's going to be happening all the time, unless you're doing like those weird poetries where you have the thing down there. Well, anyway, so <laughs> we're not going to be worried about that. Let's stick with the horizontal type tool. We'll go back in here. We'll click on a space, and we're going to do presents. Presnets. That's not the way it presents. <laughs> I can type. And those impending doom dots. Impending doom dots. And let's get this centered-ish. Uh, visually, it's uh, precisely it's right there, but visually it's more like over here. And let's scale this a bit. We can scale it manually by using the text, but the interesting part about text in After Effects is that it's vec it, key it preserves the vector graphics, which means it's not going to rasterize if you zoom in like a trillion times, like, for example, this uh, JPEG did. And although it's a, it's a bad example because it is rasterizing right here, the comp will do its best to preserve the size of the text and, and the quality as well. So let's scale this a bit just by clicking on it, whoops, not double clicking on it, single clicking on it, and scale this down just a hair, and we'll recenter it visually again, that looks about right, and now, now that we're at this over here, let's animate the opacity on it, so let's go to, let's twirl this down, oh no, we want these down to as a reference, so let's hit pres on presence, <laughs> presents, we're going to hit T for opacity, and right at this particular keyframe, we wanted it at zero, but let's make let's make some time for it. So uh, on the timeline, we're at 125. Let's skip ahead 10 frames, and instead of scrubbing one frame at a time with the mouse, which can be a little arduous task, um, let's do this instead. Hitting the page down key on your keyboard will move it one frame. So let's count 10 frames, and we're 10 frames later. It's a lot. It's one more way of getting a lot of precise control. And to move back up, you're going to hit page up. But we didn't want to do that. So uh, let's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right there. And right here is where we want this opacity to be at 100%. So we're going to key this by clicking on the stopwatch. And let's go back one more. So we're going to hit J, get back to our previous keyframe. And we're going to make the opacity 0. And the change automatically creates that. So we got our entire sequence. We have the image come up. We have our Ninja Gator float in, ease in, and then fade in as well, and then we have our presents, really big everything, and then if we go back to our example movie, everything fades out, and that's when the new logo comes in, so let's fade everything out right here, 
And um, remember I told you earlier about this function that's right over here. See where we muted the um, the wave file? Up above here is where we have these two shifting arrows and then these center diamonds. The center diamonds create uh, a keyframe regardless of where you are and regardless if there's a change. So everything's going to be at 100% right here. We want that um, all these all these to be at 100% right at two at two seconds and 15 frames. So here's a quick way to if you're going to be keying a bunch of objects such as these text. Let's go with presence. You can shift you can control select. Uh, by clicking presence and then let's take this one and this one so whatever you've uh, selected and holding down control that will select them all or another one this works in most all operating systems as well click on the first one and then go to your last one that you want to work on hold down shift and click and then you select everything in between and but now with these selected you have a lot of options with at your disposal so let's hit T and we have all of our opacity keyframes uh, being shown or we can hit U to see everything like that. Well, I guess hitting U hides them and then whatever. It's a toggle. These are all of our keyframes that we've made, but we're working just with opacity for now. So let's hit T. And we want to universally apply a 100% opacity keyframe at this point in the timeline. So let's hit this diamond. And at the same time, we've created a keyframe for all of them versus just having to put one individually. And they would. If we didn't do this process, and if we just went arbitrarily uh, starting one at a time, like we'll go into, for example, Team Ninja Gator, and this is, we want it to be black at three seconds, so we'll change it to zero. But what you'll notice right off is that there's going to be really, there's going to be uneven everything. Uneven opacity changes all over the place. Let's change this down to zero, too. And so you'll get because stuff is fading in at different times it's using the previous keyframe animation that we have on the opacity and so everything fades out at different rates and we don't want that we want something universal so let's get rid of those keyframes control Z in it and let's go back in the timeline and we're gonna create those keyframes again by making sure we have all of them selected and then hit the center diamond that's right here on these arrows and it creates a keyframe of 100 percent there and now let's expand our work area. Whoops, not that much. Let's scroll back over here. Go to three seconds. And then we're gonna make another keyframe here. But this time with one of them with since all of these are selected, all you have to do is change one value and all of them will be changed. So let's we made a keyframe there, but it's at hundred. Let's make it at zero. Zero and then hit enter. And now we have an even fade across all the comps. Even though they all came in at different times and they all have different levels of stuff. Uh, they all fade out altogether. So let's do a quick RAM preview of that. Let's shrink down our our work area again, and then hit zero for a RAM preview. And you can see that it's a little fast. We'll make an adjustment um, right about now. So let's see this with our mu Let's hear this with our music. Yeah, that's really fast. So let's extend this 100%. We know that they're all right there. Uh, let's adjust this a bit more. Let's make the fade out at four and a half seconds. Just give the reader some time. The general rule of thumb is for every two words you have, you want to give uh, at least a second to read two words, especially if they're big words. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't make that up, but I could be making that up. I don't mean to if I did. And let's adjust this 100%. See how slowly this goes now? And uh, here's a really interesting, cool thing about keyframes is you can select them. These are 100% keyframes that we have here. Let's, uh, let's go to them just to show you. See, everything's at 100% here. Let's select these. We'll hit Control-C to copy it. And let's move these down the line. Let's go to our four-second mark. And from here, we're going to Control-V or paste them. And oh my gosh, that didn't do anything that I wanted to do. I think it's just one at a time in this case. So you can, uh, if if you know you have a keyframe that's uh, at one where you want it to, so all of these are sharing the same opacity. Uh, let's select this keyframe. We're going to Control C for copying it, and then wherever our scrubber is at this moment, we can hit Control V, and it'll paste that keyframe. It'll paste this paste the keyframe right at that moment. But not only that, it'll happen for all of them. I mean, not for all of them. You can just switch over to the new layer, 
hit control V and that same keyframe will be passed over to that let's do that again for the third time and there's cut and pasting your keyframes it's kinda cool and it saves you a little bit of time in the long run for stuff let's give this another RAM preview with our sound much better the reader the viewer now has enough time to properly digest everything that's there look at our logo and the team ninja gator so yeah that's good let me check my time start another video soon 1853 yeah, let's stop and we'll make another video